Hi, Rashid Kapadia here with a tip from a book on a Monday. The tip comes from a book called, it's a small little handbook, very quick read, On Tyranny, 20 Lessons from the 20th Century. Now it's a book about politics and defending our democracy, though that's not why I want to talk about it. I will mention the, the headlines of the 27, 20 lessons in the text so you can get an idea of what the book is. I recommend the book, but two tips jumped out at me. The first one is, be kind to our language, use your own language. And the second tip is listen for dangerous words. And these two jumped out at me because sometimes, I know it's a little strange, but if I'm watching an ad on television or if I'm listening to someone on a sales call, I'm not really interested in buying what they're saying, but I'm listening carefully. What techniques are they using? What persuasion techniques are they using? What words are they using that will make me impulsive? So I find this to be a very good uh, approach. And I see that he's suggesting the same thing. So regardless of your politics, this party, that party, this policy, that policy, it doesn't matter. If you're going to reach an important conclusion, say it or you better still write it down in your own words, even if it's what everyone else is saying, use your own words. It forces you to be objective and realizes that maybe I'm being had a little bit. And the same go for dangerous words or catch words and politicians and communication departments and salespeople, they are masterful at this. We are learning that we are far more persuadable by language. So this is the tip for today. If you take an important decision, say it in your own words, write it down in your own words and be careful of catch words, dangerous words, words that are very effective in sales. It will make you more objective in critical decision making. I hope this tip helps you. Good luck.